Hi, I'm Ian DeBoer, co-chair of the new KDGO Clinical Practice Guideline for Diabetes Management and Chronic Kidney Disease, and I'm going to share some of the key takeaways for clinicians. An integrated, team-based approach to patient management should focus on regular assessment, control of multiple risk factors, and structured education and self-management to protect kidney function and reduce risk of cardiovascular complications. Self-management education programs empower and enable patients to control their health. They can lead to improvement in clinical parameters such as glycemic control, blood pressure, and body weight, as well as patient empowerment, self-efficacy, self-management, and patient satisfaction. Concerted health systems approaches are needed to identify patients with diabetes and CKD, to connect them with appropriate physician and non-physician providers, and to institute optimal team-based management. There's not enough data on optimal management of patients with kidney failure treated with dialysis or transplantation, and research on this population should be a focus of future studies. In particular, we need more high-quality evidence on lifestyle interventions, pharmacologic therapies, and health systems interventions from randomized clinical trials. Thanks for watching. The working group is very proud of these guidelines and hopes that they serve as a useful resource for clinicians and the patients we care for around the world. The full clinical practice guideline can be accessed online at www.kdigo.org.